Brock Campbell. We want to welcome you to Super Bowl Sunday at South Point. Yes, we are. Who are you rooting for, Brock? Well, you know, there's only one team going to the Super Bowl this year. Who's that? Sir. Ah, Brock's going for Green Bay. Woo! Okay. Who are you going for? Well, let me tell you, buddy. Let's go Steelers! Oh, come on, yeah, you're going home! Steelers, matter of fact, check this out. I even brought my own Steelers helmet up. Oh, oh well. I'm a true fan, you bro! Ain't, you ain't got nothing on Brock! Brock! What? Brock the cheese head! Brock the cheese head! Hey, check it out, South Point. We're gonna have a lot of fun at Super Bowl Sunday. We have a whole lot of stuff going on here at South Point. And the first thing, the number one thing that we've always got going on is connection groups. And that starts tonight with Top Notch at 6 o'clock here at the church. Bring some finger foods. Be sure and record the game because you're going to miss it. Something else coming up there in February on the 27th. We're going to have our own Black History Service here at South Point. Our very own Lee Prince is going to be speaking. And, and... Afterwards, we are having a soul food dinner. If you haven't ever experienced soul food, you need to be here. The whole service is going to be dedicated to Black History Month. It's going to be awesome. We are going to be getting groovy up in South. Hey, bro, you going to eat your cornbread? Oh, yeah. Hey, check it out. What do you wait on when you're sitting around watching the Super Bowl? You can't wait for this to happen. Well, I always get myself a big old pile of chicken wings, and I go to town on those, and I wait for the number one reason that people watch the Super Bowl, and that's the commercial! Hey, we got our very own commercial here at South Point. Hey, it is the most expensive commercial in South Point's history. We spent $13. Enjoy. I was watching TV the other day, and this show comes on with these religious fanatics. They were crazy. Well, you would think they were crazy if you didn't understand their culture and their religion. See, that's just the thing. They were worshipers of idols. And they took things to extremes. They painted their bodies. They wore these ridiculous costumes. They chanted, they danced, they, they made sacrifices to their idols. They had built these enormous temples to worship their idols in. It seemed like their entire existence climaxed into this one scenario, this one over-the-top act of worship. You don't really relate, do you? Let's try it again. I was watching TV the other day, and this show comes on with these religious fanatics. They were crazy. See, that's just the thing. They were worshipers of idols. And they took things to extremes. They painted their bodies. They wore these ridiculous costumes. They chanted, they danced, they, they made sacrifices to their idols. They had built these enormous temples to worship their idols in. It seemed like their entire existence climaxed into this one scenario, this one over-the-top act of worship. Idol worship. It's not just about golden calves anymore. And we're back! Check it out, next Sunday is our Valentine's Day Banquet. That's right, it's gonna be here at the church at 6.30. If you haven't got your tickets yet, you better get them because there might not even be any left. I heard there's only 40 of you. Uh, Brock thinks it's a lot less than that. You need to get out there, go buy your tickets immediately after church. You can get them in the lobby. Remember, you got steak or chicken. It is a blast and singles, you can come too. It's $20 a single and $35 a couple. Get your ticket. We had a blast last year. It was a lot of fun. They're still talking about it up till today. So get your ticket. Come and celebrate with us. Valentine's Day. Hey, matter of fact, since commercials are so hot during the Super Bowl, well, let's roll us another one. You got two today. Roll it. Two commercials. Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday, baby. What can be more exciting than that? Well, let me tell you what can be more exciting than that. It's what your pastor tells you every week. What's more exciting than Super Bowl Sunday is the kingdom of God and you're on Team Jesus, the winning team. <laughs> Baby, next time I'm gonna hit you so hard you're going to fly 
night, NASA's gonna think I didn't launch a satellite! Don't you run from me! You can't escape my grasp! D Gray will throw you in the trash! Thank you, Mr. Gray. I'll never do it again! Hey, and you know what time it is, don't you? Yeah, it's getting kinda late. What time is it? What? It's time for the Big, big Scoop! And hey, the Big Scoop this week is the Youth Fish Fry today, right after church. So you get up, you go buy your ticket for next week's food, then you truck it on back to the fellowship hall, you donate some money, and you get yourself some fried fish! Fish! You know what? That concludes another edition of the South Point Scoop. I'm Eric. And I'm Brock Campbell. Hey Eric, who do you have on the back of that jersey anyway? What do you got on the back of yours, Brock? Rogers! Woo! You think he's gonna lead him to the Super Bowl? I don't think so. Oh yeah, yeah, he is! Who do you got back there? Uh, I don't think you wanna see the back of my jersey. Hey, like I said, it's been another edition. I'm Eric. I'm Brock Campbell! Hey, we'll see you next time when we celebrate. Come on! And the trippies!